Accusations tonight of racism coming from many doctors. They say Sutter Health, one of California's largest medical providers, discriminates against black physicians and that it's been happening for decades. Last month, we introduced you to a nationally renowned ophthalmologist at Sutter Health in Palo Alto. He filed a racial discrimination lawsuit against the hospital system. Seven other black doctors are included in that lawsuit. Tonight, three more physicians are coming forward with allegations of discrimination. And they're speaking exclusively to our senior investigative reporter, Baghdad Shaban. Raj and Jess, these physicians tell us they were repeatedly bullied, harassed, and humiliated at Sutter, all because they are black. Now, for some, the discrimination claims are recent, but others tell us the racism they encountered at Sutter dates back years and believe the hospital giant has done little to cure it. How many of you have experienced discrimination while working at a Sutter hospital? All of you. There was a toxic environment that just permeated. I was traumatized. It's insidious here within Sutter. Doctors Kevin Smothers, Pringle Miller, and Yinka Davies had never met one another until we invited them here to speak with us. They're strangers who've just discovered they've shared a connection for years. And how does this happen? Like, how does this happen to all of us? The trio of physicians worked at Sutter Health in different departments during different time periods over the past 20 years, but are now sharing similar stories of repeated acts of discrimination from leaders inside one of California's largest healthcare systems. All of a sudden you're being told that you're difficult to work with. So-and-so thought like you were yelling or they, they were scared of you. You're intimidating. You intimidated them. We're gonna put you in this remediation class and learn how to speak to people. And all of that takes a toll on you. It was, it was never about your care, but always they would find little things to escalate it to a completely different level. Similar to Dr. Davies, I was labeled a disruptive physician. Disruptive? Yeah. If I was complaining about something that happened like unsterile instruments on the back table, I became the problem. And it's really scary for patients. Like you're asking for an ultrasound to do a liver biopsy. And they said, you know, it's really difficult what you're asking for. And you're becoming really difficult to work with. And I thought, well, that's because I can't see where the liver is. You're asking for these things, mm -hmm. and their way of handling it is really turning the problem onto you. Rather than focusing on the problem, you became the problem. And that's how we became targets. It's just intolerable after a certain amount of time. So we move on and try and find a safer place to work. The physicians quit after a combined experience of roughly two decades at Sutter Health. Dr. Smothers left just last year. Dr. Miller resigned in 2006. Dr. Davies departed in 2013. But in the decades since, she believes Sutter has done little to curb discrimination. It's the same story being told over and over again, which is shocking. Dr. Davies spent 10 years helping children as a pediatric GI at Sutter Health's flagship hospital in Sacramento. During that time, she says one of her supervisors secretly had a hidden camera installed in her medical supply closet, which Dr. Davies says only five other employees regularly used. She says a hospital maintenance worker who told her about the camera said he installed it while she was on vacation. I thought, what? But he takes me into the administrator's office, which is just around the corner, and next to her desk was a live feed of this camera. This is Sutter. Like, I didn't feel safe there. Sutter Health declined to comment on the accusations, but has been forced to defend itself against similar claims. Last month, we told you about a pending racial discrimination lawsuit filed against Sutter by another black physician, Dr. Omandi Nyong'o. Back then, Sutter told us in a statement, we are committed to fostering a diverse and inclusive workforce, as well as a healthcare environment where all are treated equitably, with dignity and respect, and provided the opportunity to reach their full potential. Who or what do you blame for the kind of treatment you experienced while at Sutter? Leadership. Leadership. And the culture, the culture yeah. within leadership. But it's the leadership that determines the culture, yeah. ultimately. Yeah. And uh, it starts at the top. What makes me Sutter proud is our people. 
They do such amazing work every day, taking care of our patients and their families and taking care of our communities. Warner Thomas is Sutter Health's president and CEO, overseeing the system's 50,000 employees and more than 20 hospitals across Northern California. He was appointed late last year after all three doctors had already left Sutter. We asked to speak with the CEO about his efforts to combat discrimination, but his office declined. Dr. Smothers, you have been a physician for more than 40 years. You've worked at six different hospitals. Have you ever experienced discrimination like this before? No, nowhere close to what I experienced within Sutter. Up until last year, Dr. Smothers served as chief medical officer for the Sutter Health Hospital in Sacramento. During his five years there, he says he was the only black person to serve in that position at any Sutter hospital. According to that discrimination lawsuit filed by Dr. Nyong'o, Black doctors account for less than 1% of physicians in leadership within Sutter. Sutter would not comment on the accuracy of those figures, nor would it release racial demographics for its 12,000 physicians. Although they claim to be the organization of diversity, equity, and inclusion, uh, when you look at the face of Sutter, that's not the case. While working there as chief medical officer, he says his supervisor, the hospital's CEO, told him he was being groomed to eventually become the next CEO. But Dr. Smothers says later that same boss told him the plan was abruptly nixed by higher ups at Sutter Health and the job was given to a white woman. Someone who had never had any experience working in a large complex system and it was clear to me that it had to be race uh, that was determining why this person uh, was put in that position. Sutter would not comment on why Dr. Smothers was passed over. On its website, Sutter says, we passionately support speaking up to end racial injustice and address health inequities in healthcare. I think what matters is how people feel they've been treated and not what they say they're doing. Dr. Miller tells us while working as the only black surgeon at the Sutter Health Campus in Nevada, staff frequently called her by her first name, even though she says they always address the hospital's white male surgeons as doctor. She says the repeated discrimination she suffered while at Sutter is in part what inspired her to create Physician Just Equity, a nonprofit focused on providing support to doctors and med students experiencing racism inside their own hospitals and clinics. In just two years, the group has received help requests from more than 100 physicians across the country. If underrepresented docs, black doctors are being structurally eliminated from the workforce, that means that it's gonna impact the communities that they serve. If you're not really trying to become more diverse and inclusive, and yeah. inclusive the patients feel it. And that's the bigger picture of this. It becomes a bigger problem for patients. The U.S. is already headed towards a massive physician shortage. At the same time, research shows the youngest of black doctors, those residents still in training, are leaving medicine at disproportionately higher rates. Now, that lack of representation inside hospitals and clinics could be a matter of life and death. A first of its kind study published just last month found when counties have more black doctors, black residents there tend to live longer. With the investigative unit, I'm Begat Shaban. Thank you. If you have a story for our investigative unit, you can call 888-996-TIPS, or you could always visit our website, nbcbayarea.com slash investigations.